Hello and welcome to Dish Granted. I'm your host, Stephen Lim, and this is the show where we try to create the perfect meal for our distinguished guests. With no limit to how much I can spend, I'll have 24 hours to create a dish beyond their wildest dreams. This is Dish Granted. Today, the special guest whose dish I will be granting is none other than K-pop superstar, Eric Nam. So funny story, actually back in the day, Eric Nam is one of the people who got me into K-pop. It was actually his song, Can't Help Myself. I had it on repeat for like a week straight when I first heard the song, I'm not gonna lie. So today I'm actually bringing in a very good friend of mine, K-pop fan, maybe even a historian, an enthusiast for sure, host of Asian boss girl, Melody Chang. Come on down. Hello, hello. Hello. Nice to be back with the Watcher family. Yeah. I mean, you're so nice. Hi, Tony. Hey, hey. Remember when I uh, beat Steven in the dumpling sauce? I remember. We're having a sauce off, pretty much. It's close, but slight edge goes to her. Yes. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, Tony. Hey. Wow. I will say thank you for bringing me back on. I am an Eric Nam fan. I love his music. My favorite song is like Cave Me In. He has a song called Into You with Collage. It's mm. really great. What about uh, Can't Help Myself? Do you like that song? The yeah! yeah! Are you ready to cook for Eric? I'm nervous, but I'm ready to take on the challenge. Yeah, we brought Melody because you are not only a K-pop fan, but you love cooking. You love food. I do, I do. So I think you would be a perfect person. So why don't we start off by calling Eric? Eric now? Okay. All right, Eric now I'm call, take one, comment mark. Very nice mark, Carter. <laughs> Carter, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Eric, how's it going, man? I'm good, how are you guys? We hear you are flying in between tour dates around the world right now, and you're like in LA for what, like two days? Literally, I flew in for you guys. <laughs> That's so thoughtful. More importantly, I flew in for myself because I wanted a meal that you guys were gonna cook for me. So really, truly, it's selfish. <laughs> I'm a huge fan, so I appreciate this. You actually helped me get into K-pop. I did? I feel so honored. If you ever need a uh, backup vocals or dancers, you know, or right here, yeah, just, uh, just for next time. You guys are first on the list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the dish that I want you to grant me is... I'm nervous. Breakfast. <laughs> Oh, okay. Why breakfast? It's this mentality that I can eat whatever I want because I'll burn off the calories throughout the day. If I start the day with French toast, eggs, and hash browns, and coffee, and a juice with fruit and an avocado on the side, sounds like a lot, but then you're like, now I'm gonna work my butt off and it's gonna be okay. Do you have any favorite breakfast spots? You know, I grew up in Atlanta and so Southern comfort food comes to mind immediately. Like Waffle House, when I'm in the South, it is the go-to, I have to have it. This is my first time hearing what Waffle House is. I've never <gasps> had it. I know. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> We have IHOP, is that not the same? No, 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 no. No. For some reason, it feels classier than Waffle House. One of the last times I went to Waffle House, they were like, we're not doing dine-in, but you can take Waffle House. So we had plastic containers and plastic forts, and we sat on the curb at midnight eating Waffle House. And that is what Waffle House is to me. I'm salivating. <laughs> the inside of my mouth is flooding. Just talking about this. What do you get at Waffle House? Okay, you get the all-star special, comes with a waffle, your choice of bacon or sausage, eggs, grits, toast. I always add hash browns and it comes with orange juice or coffee or whatever have you. Nice, simple meal. Really classic and light. Wow, you want like... Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> what is the one thing your mom makes you're like, ooh, I need to get this when I'm back at home? Ooh. This spicy braised chicken. What else? Kaibi Jim is also a go to. I have this pattern that I'm recognizing that I think I really like braised foods. Mm, mm. Okay. Braised. People may not know what Kaibi Jim is, so could you just like. Ooh. Kaibi Jim is braised short ribs. It's sweet but savory and it's delicious. <laughs> it sounds really good. Oh, I love it. Korean food is delicious to me because there's so much depth and complexity in the flavors. I'll eat anything and everything. When I go to a restaurant that's trying to do Korean food, the flavor is often too weak or way too salty. But I will still eat it all. Bro, if you're paying money, you're gonna eat it, okay? <laughs> that's true, that's true. Dang, we have a lot a to lot. work with. Eric likes everything. 
I think we're looking for the perfect flavor. Yeah. But if anybody can do it, it's you guys. You guys are the pros. So I believe in you. Thank you. I gotta replay that encouragement note like so many times <laughs> just right now. We're gonna play that for ourselves. <laughs> yes. We're gonna get to work, but we will see you here at my home in 24 hours. Alrighty. Good luck on your cooking endeavors. Thank yeah. you. Come, Come hungry. hungry. Oh. What the heck? Hey! Okay. <laughs> this teamwork, this is great. So we start, you know, we say Eric Nam breakfast. Okay. He wants that good, good first meal of the day. Mm-hmm. How do you do this? <laughs> it's helpful to have like a North Star for us to go toward. Okay. I do think we should do a Korean style because he looked excited when we're talking about Korean. Yeah. Food. Korea is so good at food. Like, ooh. He mentioned that place that I'd never been to a lot. It's Waffle House. I don't think I've seen anybody that I said about anything. <laughs> he just was like, Waffle House. Yeah. Waffle House inspired breakfast. Ah, I like it. Tony? The North Star is a waffle. Okay. Bougie Korean Waffle House. I'm a hash brown girl, so I'm a yes to that. But there's any kinds of different hash browns. I think we should go Korean style, like hash pancake. Oh. Oh. Okay, when you hear the, oh, that's a good idea. So okay. we're just gonna roll with that, okay. okay? We have to find like this main course. Like we don't have a protein, some kind of braised meat. I like that. So yeah, let's do a kalbi chin. And then let's like mesh it with a uh, Waffle House. What? Wow. Cause kalbi chin isn't really breakfast food. Like how do you make that breakfasty? Like you serve it on toast? Maybe like grits. Okay. Presentation for this show is really important. So okay. we'll get a nice short rib. Serve it over the grits, is that? I could already picture it. You could? Wait. <laughs> We don't have the waffle. Wait. We need, we need waffle. Sorry, yes. I thought that was a waffle and I got confused. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Sorry. We should get the Waffle House mix. They sell it? You need to order that now. Carter, get on that. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so demanding. Hey, Carter, do you mind actually looking into seeing if you could overnight some Waffle House mix to the shoot? Thank you. Wow. Snap! How can we make the waffle a little bit more Korean inspired? I think there's an obvious answer here. What? Chicken and waffle. Yes. Duh. If you haven't tried Korean fried chicken, you're kind of missing out on a great pleasure in life. It's that crunch when you bite into Korean fried chicken that I don't think is replicated anywhere else in the world. This is a lot of stuff to make. Hey, when they ask for stuff, we just, we, we rise up to the challenge. Eric, I swear, whatever we make, it'll look better than this. That looks like, uh, it's like stinky poop. That's like from the heat. What the heck is this? Are we gonna call it Bougie Korean Waffle House? Is that the name of the restaurant? I don't know. Eric Nom. Nom Nom Nom. Nom Nom? Nom Nom House? <laughs> that sounds <laughs> That's cute. pretty clever. Nom Nom House. The house that we built, and this dish can be called... K-pop All-Star Breakfast? All-Star Special Breakfast? K-pop Star... Special. Special. That also sounds like a show that I'd watch. Because <laughs> I love K-pop. <laughs> I'll be real, all these things we listed, I've never made in my life. <laughs> and that's when we start cooking. I'm gonna step back here and let you do the rest. What? You don't wanna have too many cooks in the kitchen, so I will be here to support you. Don't you worry, I'll, I'll help you too. Okay. I'll need to help you, yeah. It's a group and team effort. All right, Eric, we're gonna make you the K-pop star special with Poseidon's Trident. <laughs> I tried to make a fork. <laughs> I'll be honest. I've never made fried chicken in my life. Don't worry, uh, Tony and me have a lot of experience doing this. Making or eating fried chicken? Both. Both. Perfect. We're actually gonna be using Baek Jong Wan's recipe, which if you guys don't know, it's a really famous Korean chef. I watch a lot of Korean variety shows and he's always on it. And I wanted to make the chicken as authentic as we can. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, chicken looks funny. Oh yeah, imagine cutting a whole one, it's it's jarring. Dealing with raw meat is weird. Soak it in milk for around 20 minutes. Is it weird I wanna smell it? I think the milk also will get rid of the scent of the raw meat. I just made that up, I don't know. I just like the smell of milk. Let's do a little bit more just to be safe. As we let the chicken soak, we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce, which honestly is quite simple. So we have some minced garlic, which is my favorite. I can eat garlic raw. Wait, do it. I will do it. Yeah, do it. Damn. I can't back down from a challenge. <laughs> Let's be real. But don't give me any more though. <laughs> you gotta eat a whole clove. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl can handle some garlic. Ooh, actually maybe I can't. Ooh. We have some milk in case. Gochujang. Yo, this is some thick sauce. 
some ketchup, brown sugar, chili powder, rice syrup, which will give us a nice thick texture. Whoa. Dude, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Right? Once it starts boiling, then you turn off the heat right away. I just sounded so official right there. Ew. I just repeated the recipe. <laughs> Careful of your hand, you got some sauce in there, so just don't want you to get it on your shirt. Mmm, ooh, spicy. Uh, give me a taste. Mmm. Dude! Very good. All right, chicken. It's actually one of my favorite parts, coating. There you go. All right, I got this. Oh, my fingers are getting stuck together. Yeah, so wet, dry. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Both hands. Make sure you get the excess liquid. On my finger? No, no, just off oh. the, ch yeah. Yo, look Where's at this. The this is the piece Eric Nam's gonna eat. Just kind of swirl it around. Wow. Fry it up and then you drop it in. It's floating to the top, so okay. it's there. Yo. Wait, let me see. It smells amazing. Oh. oh. It looks so crispy. Yo. Can we open a restaurant, guys? Um, do you want to fund it? Going back in for the second fry. I love that sound. One of the best sounds in the world. Oh, yo. All right. Perfect. Okay. Dude, it smells good. Let's do one more. <laughs> Can't even toss it up. It's so sticky. Ooh. Oh, oh. That's good. Really? That's really good. Okay, 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 okay. Holy crap. You made that. All right, we good. Eric Nam's gonna like this, we good. Let me finish this bite and we'll, we'll move on. Let's do it. Mm. We are doing our best to overnight the Waffle House waffle mix. I don't know why I'm smelling the powder. This is like one and a half cups of milk along with one egg. The recipe calls for 380 degrees on the waffle maker, but there's no degrees. So we're gonna just use our intuition. 380 degrees, it's like a six, right? It's like sunblock. <laughs> okay, let's do a scoop. Wow. This is like really satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. If this is successful, yo. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I feel like it needs to cook more. Turn up, you know what, look. Max. Max. <laughs> it's getting there. Oh, it smells so good. It doesn't feel like crispy. Maybe it's too much milk. milk. Or not enough flour. Here we go. Okay. I think this looks great. It's not like gloopy. Here are the two attempts. Obviously the first one looks like it could have been frozen, you know? It looks like an ego. Second one, we learned our lesson and it's browned. Dish one, done-ish. This video was sponsored by BetterHelp. Taking a bite of your ultimate comfort food is the perfect way to keep your emotional battery charged. Another great way to feel that spark of self-healing is with BetterHelp. From customized online therapy through video, phone, and even live chat sessions with a certified therapist, BetterHelp has a variety of services to help you strengthen your mental health. The best part is that you are in control of your therapy experience. So if you're uncomfortable with seeing anyone on camera, you don't have to. BetterHelp has a network of over 20,000 therapists and gives you access to an extensive range of options no matter where you are. You'll be matched with a therapist 48 hours after filling a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs. If your match doesn't seem to be the right fit, you can request a new therapist anytime at no additional charge. Scheduling a secure video, phone session, or exchanging unlimited messages is as easy as the touch of a button. Most importantly, everything you share is completely confidential. Thousands of people have benefited from BetterHelp services. So many, in fact, that BetterHelp is currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Join the two million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month of therapy at betterhelp.com watcher, or click the link in the description below. That's betterhelp.com slash watcher. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video, and now back to the show. It's a pretty intimidating dish because it's like a fancy dish. It's like this beautiful short rib that we have going, and like the cut looks insane. Wish me luck. Okay, thank you. We're using our favorite Korean emol. She's just like the sweet aunt that you always want for all these gatherings. So thank you, Mangchi, for letting us use your recipe. As the water boils, we're gonna be working on the sauce. We have some minced garlic, soy sauce, some mirin, which is like cooking wine, ginger, sugar, pepper, two cups of the mushroom drenched water to add a little bit more flavor to the sauce. Ooh, mashiso, did I say it right? Based off, you know, a lot of the cooking shows I watch in Korean, mashiso means Tastier, it's really yummy. Mashiso. Mashiso. Yeah. I get it confused with handsome. Moshiso. 
Dude, that's hard. The question is, can he be both tasty and handsome? Yeah, you can. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay, so the water is boiling, and we're gonna blanch the meat for five minutes. Okay, so right now we have some daikon, some carrots. I didn't know this was a thing. You shape it into a ball. So at first it's like, how the heck do you make this into a ball? If you're afraid of the knife like me, you could just use a peeler. So I just peel around it. Brittany's mom, Brittany's also Korean. She said, you do this because it absorbs the flavors more. I hope Eric appreciates the work we're putting in. Ah, sorry. I get scared. I'm gonna just make those balls as round as I freaking can. All right. Is it okay? No. All right, I'm a little nervous because I'm about to cook everything. So I'm gonna phone a friend, Chef Dookie Hong, to get some advice how to make this really like, hit Eric Nam's heart. Hi Dookie, it's me, Mel, your good friend. Hi Mel. I am about to make kalbi chim. Mm. I'm a little intimidated because I feel like it's such a like legit Korean dish. Mm -hmm. What makes kalbi chim so special? Like why is it only served for special occasions? I don't know if it's only served for special occasions. It is a special occasion when you have it. It just like gets down to what humans love. Like it's the iconic Korean meat and potatoes dish. At the end of the day, it's braised meat. So it's mm -hmm. not rocket science. The key things that you have to kind of remember is making sure the meat is like fall off the bone, so that means braising temperature. When you add the ingredients is really important. You don't want to put it all together and just boil because carrots, daikons, and the meat all cook in different cooking times, mm -hmm. right? Like time is an ingredient as well. This is a very tough menu for anybody, chef included, so best of luck. I want to show you the meat we're using. Bring it on, let me see. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. If you gave me that as carbichim, you can't go wrong. With the Calvi team, we're also gonna like shave some truffles on top to, you know, add a little bit of, mm. you know, luxury. Would you flamethrower the uh, truffle after too, or no? If you, Stevie Mel, if you burn truffles, I would die. <laughs> like, do, don't you, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. Maybe, we'll think about it. Do not do it. Do not do oh. it. Oh! Is that a big knife? That's a real knife, huh? I don't know why I have this name. I'm sorry. You're an interesting chef. Well, thank you, Dookie. Are you ready for this? Don't say that at the end of the call. Believe in me. Go, Mel. Go, Mel. We'll try. Yay. Deuces. All right. And then the beautiful sauce. I want to let this cook for 20 minutes. Okay, we're going to move on to the grits. So, for the grits, chicken broth. You want to incorporate it slowly. Okay. And just stir while you're incorporating. You can't really mess up grits, but you can make it better. From what I understand. He sounds like a very high achieving parent. <laughs> it kind of looks like really fancy sand. <laughs> Does this look right to you guys? Oh, sh do, do you see that? Oh. You know what, let's add the butter and the cheese. Whoa. Oh, okay, that's looking like grits. Yes. Crew, does this look right? Mmm, the cheese, dude. The cheese. Here, let's I think, bring in an expert. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who actually has eaten grits before, Meredith. Do Meredith, I need help. I was fine. Keep in mind that we're gonna put the kalbi chim on top. That's true. Dude, speaking of which, can I, we just see the kalbi chim? I'm so excited about this thing. Ooh. Okay, describe the smell, Tony. It smells like kalbi chim. Oh, really? Dude. Okay, we're gonna add in the vegetables so it can soak in the sauce. I'm gonna save the daikon for the last 20 minutes and we're gonna cover it. Bye bye. Low heat and let it simmer for about an hour. And then put it all together. And Eric now is gonna be like, oh my gosh, mind blown. Or that's what I'm hoping for. He's gonna be like, oh. and then a song is gonna come to his mind, inspired by Melody and Steven and Tony. I mean, that's wishful thinking. Can you just do your like best one hour later SpongeBob voice? Steven! <laughs> no, okay, all right. Is it one hour later? No? That's not bad. You do it. One hour later. Oh, it's pretty good. Holy, oh shoot. Wow. Dude, mm. that looks so good. Okay, daikon. Guess these cook faster. And then now the jujubes. This looks gorgeous. Some rice syrup. Okay, that meat looks freaking amazing. All right, time to plate this. I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of the best meals we've ever made on this show. Like, that I would want to eat. Okay. Oh, my stomach just started growling. <laughs> Did a great job. Really? Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. I would actually pay money to eat it. I would too. Wow. That looks really good. You did that. We all did this. We did it. Good job, the crew, team. everybody. Yay. Is there anything else we need to do? No. I'm eat a carrot. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. Hop. 
Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. The inside? Perfect. It is so good. Well. Sorry, it's so good. Yay. All right, Eric. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning. Morning. So some behind the scenes here at Watcher. We had the idea for the Waffle House. Mm -hmm. Pan over to Carter. This guy right here got on that laptop right there, just like this yesterday. And overnighted a box of Waffle House mix Ooh. and Waffle House grits. And it got here. Wow. Oh, it's heavy. Waffle House in LA. Shout out to our post-production supervisor for cricketing Nom Nom House. That's really cute. As name tags. What a creative name. Wow, Watcher, impressed. What, that was our idea. Just kidding. We're so smart, We're so creative. <laughs> I think it's Christmas for Steven, so let's open the box. Let's open the box. Hi. Christmas <gasps> time. Wow. No way. What an amazing Christmas present. <gasps> Should we use one to cook and use one to gift yes, Eric now? Sure, why not? Wow. I'm actually very excited to try this. Secret. Okay. Okay. He will be here in one hour. Oh crap. Go. There you go. I don't know why I went this way. There's nothing here. I should go this way. <laughs> Are you going into this with any expectations? Very low expectations. Not because I question their capability or ability but I always find that going in with low expectations means that you're always going to be pleasantly surprised. Fuck, Mary kill, pasta, <laughs> rice, bread, go. Whoa! Yeah. I mean, this is really controversial. Controversial, I can't even say controversial because I'm so shook. I think I'm gonna have to kill pasta. I'm gonna marry rice, and then I fuck with bread. I might fuck with bread a lot though. This is not a judgment zone, is it? No. You guys no. would never. It's, I don't know. I just feel like pasta is so like, <gasps> look at me, I'm pasta. And Rice is like, enjoy whatever you want and I'll just be here to support you. All right, let's go. Nom Nom House, like, one, two, three. Nom Nom House. <laughs> Sounds like a killer. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh. Hey, <laughs> welcome. How are you? Good, Good to see you. you. Well, welcome to Nom Nom House. This is amazing. <laughs> Nice stickers, guys. Take a seat. I smell oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I smell. Very so accurate. Pan fried. Yes. Maybe, I don't know. Deep fried. Or Both. Something? All of those are true. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Your dish this has been, been granted. granted. <laughs> Woo! All right. So you mentioned that you always order hash browns on the side. So mm -hmm. we decided to do a hash brown Korean pancake style. What? And give you a spicy ketchup. Okay, the second dish you mentioned Korean fried chicken is one of the best things in the world. It is. Why not make Korean fried chicken and waffles? Ooh, so tasty. I'm so excited. So these. Wow. We actually overnighted the Waffle House mix. No, you didn't. I'm not kidding. They have that? Oh, wow, that's legit. This is also a gift from the team. You make it Thank you so much. Much. Yeah. That's amazing. And for the grand finale for There's your, more? There's one more dish. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. You also mentioned you liked kalbi chim, so oh. we decided to do that over grits. Wow. Delicious. But wait. We're not done yet. I'm sure you've seen this before. Oh, uh, yeah. Just tell me when to stop. I'm just not gonna stop. Yeah, never, stop. Okay, we're never gonna stop here. It's gonna go. Tony says that's good. <laughs> no, it's not Tony House. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, lastly. Wait, have you used this before? You look very First for everything. You there you go. Nervous, okay. <laughs> Let's go. We did grab some trouble. You guys just went all out. Oh shit. Whoa! Okay. This is not breakfast. You did say indulge. Yeah. So we took that word a little bit maybe too far. But I love it. Should we go in the order in which it was presented? That sounds good. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the Asian mom thing. Thank and you. Like, make sure you eat enough. Yes. No. How was it? Oh, that's good. I can actually eat that forever. Oh, that's mm. pretty good. What is it about hash browns that you love so much? Because you do like grits and hash browns. We looked it up and you, you only get one. Mm hmm Hash browns are always good, like crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. The inner fatty in me is just like, give it to me! <laughs> oh, this is warm. The sauce will be thick. <laughs> it's a decadent sauce. That's it. I'm just gonna leave it on the chicken. Oh, okay. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's good. What's the batter? Magic. Magic. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna do a bite of this and then straight into the waffle. Mm-hmm. What a combo. Mmm. You know what? How the Waffle House waffle? Waffle is not bad. I've never it's had it. Not life. the best waffle I've had. It's Waffle House. Waffle. Waffle. <laughs> it's Waffle House. Wait, tell me, do you go to Waffle House for the waffles? I go for the experience. What's the craziest story that you remember from Waffle House? <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> Dang it. It's, Try. Uh, there are some crazy stories from Waffle House. <laughs> oh man. I can tell you one okay. story. Okay, please, okay, yeah, please, yeah. please. After one of my shows, we ended up going to Waffle House and one of my touring members had a bottle of tequila with him. It was like 3.30 in the morning. Mm. And we ended up taking shots with all the waiters at Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you end a tour, right? And that's how we ended the show. That's it was true. great. So if it was an East Coast show mm -hmm. and I went to Waffle House afterward, there'd yeah. be a chance I would find you there. Yeah, we did it on this past tour too in Ohio. Ohio, oh. baby. Yeah. Are you from Ohio? I'm from Ohio. Oh, see, there you yeah. go. There are a lot more stories. I'm just trying not to go there because that's like the tamest that's one. Use your imagination. In the comments, let us know your wildest Waffle House story. <laughs> I would love to actually read that. <laughs> so did you guys tag team all of these or did one of you take on like a dish? You know, uh, you gotta have like a manager and then like the talent, right? Like uh -huh. manager. You know? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Wait, can you show the camera? Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, baby. Mm, that's good. Wow. Yo, mm. good job. That's so good. Okay, job. we're going grits truffle right now. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Ooh, mama. Ball. Okay, I was asked this question before we came in here. Fuck, Mary Hill, rice, okay. pasta, and bread. Who okay. asked that question? Oh, I already have an answer. Lizzie. You don't ask this or you ask this? <laughs> they asked me. Okay. Can I go first? Yes. Kill bread. I don't need bread. <gasps> Whoa. I don't need bread. I don't need Whoa. bread. Whoa, yeah. mom, what's happening? Noodles for me is like supreme. And then I would yeah. have rice sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes. Sometimes? Oh, no, no. You could marry rice. That's, that's the husband material. She's like, what are you talking no. about? It's all right. It's all right. I know what? your type smell. I killed pasta. What? Uh, you want noodles? I love noodles, mm. but mm -hmm. pasta Pasta's. is pretentious. Okay. They got complicated, fancy names for no reason. Tagliatelle. Like, that's true. Calm down. <laughs> Tagliatelle. The Italian language. Calm down. That's true. I mean, it's beautiful. Oh. Bread is like soft and bouncy and chewy <laughs> and buttery and like. Dry? If you no. dry oh, it out. Well, no, but you don't want to have dry bread. What, you eating croutons? I'm oh talking, my gosh. I'm talking I think, bread. I think like sliced bread from like Trader Joe's. Delicious! <laughs> what would you do? Would you... Marry a rice. Marry rice. Fuck with the bread. Mm -hmm. No, the pot. Well, I don't know. Probably the pasta. Ah, uh, <laughs> I would fuck with the pasta and okay. then kill the bread. What an interesting question. Yeah, Lizzie, what an interesting question. Honestly, these are the hard-hating questions that should be answered on Watcher every episode. And that's why we're here. That's true. Well, okay, I have two gold stars here in my hand. Oh, crap. It is with a heavy heart that I must award these stars. <laughs> <laughs> they reminded me of home. They reminded me of my past and my present, and what I love so much about really good cooking. So thank you guys. Woo! Here are your gold stars. Thank you. I did not know this was your first time making this. Yeah. I would never have known. No. I feel like this should be on a menu somewhere. I mean, I I'm surprised it's not. It's, it's pretty freaking good. Yeah. We should start Nom Nom House then. We should. Thanks for having me, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, no, uh, thank you. This I'm gonna cook for you guys one day. I would love I'm gonna that. make you cheese one day. Just organic From, cheese. Are you gonna get a You're cow? Gonna, I'm gonna go milk a cow, or a sheep, or a goat, and I'm just gonna let it rot, and then I'll make you something really good. That seriously sounds awesome. Yeah, like um, fondue. Yeah. Oh, okay. 